To Shake the Sleeping Self, A Journey from Oregon to Patagonia and a Quest for a Life with No Regret, is a memoir by Jedidiah Jenkins that chronicles his transformative bicycle journey from Oregon, USA, to Patagonia at the southern tip of South America. The book is a deeply personal narrative that infuses travel adventure with philosophical inquiries into identity, purpose, faith, and the pursuit of an authentic life. As Jedidiah approaches his 30th birthday, he is struck by the realization that his life has become predictable and comfortable. Working for a nonprofit organization in Los Angeles, he feels the threat of complacency and the fear of living an unremarkable life. Inspired by a desire to change and challenge himself, he decides to shake up his existence by undertaking a monumental bike ride, a journey that will span two years and 14,000 miles. The journey begins in Oregon, where Jed sets off with a friend named Weston, who agrees to accompany him for the first few months. The two of them pedal southward, meeting a host of characters and experiencing the dawning physical and mental challenges of long-distance cycling. The initial part of the trip is dominated by the novelty and excitement of the adventure. As Jed becomes accustomed to the rhythms of life on the road, the beauty of the landscapes, and the simplicity of traveling by bike. As the trip progresses, Jed grapples with his upbringing in a conservative Christian family and his education at a religious university. Throughout his life, he has wrestled with his faith and sexuality, having grown up believing that being gay is incompatible with Christianity. The journey provides him with the space and time to reflect on these inner conflicts and to explore what he truly believes away from the expectations and norms of his familiar surroundings. The physical journey through different countries, Mexico, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and ultimately Argentina, is paralleled by an internal journey of discovery. Jed confronts his fears, his beliefs, and his understanding of himself. Along the way, he encounters the kindness and generosity of strangers, the challenges of language barriers and cultural differences, and the raw beauty of the natural world. Weston eventually leaves the journey, and Jed continues alone. Solitude brings a new depth to his reflections, as he has to deal with isolation, introspection, and the often punishing elements. His solitary travels are punctuated by moments of connection with fellow travelers and locals, which offer both comfort and fresh perspectives. In South America, Jed experiences some of the most intense and grueling parts of his journey. He comes face to face with the stark inequalities and political complexities of the countries he bikes through. These encounters lead him to question the very nature of travel, whether it is a form of escapism or a genuine attempt to understand the world and one's place within it. One of the defining relationships in the narrative is with his mother, who joins him for a portion of the trip. Though they come from very different worldviews, their relationship is characterized by love and respect. Their interactions provide a backdrop for Jed to delve deeper into his family dynamics, faith, and the experience of coming out to his parents as gay. As Jed nears the end of his journey, the question of what comes after becomes more pressing. He explores the idea of home, what it means and where it is, alongside meditations on the urge for adventure versus the desire for stability. He ponders whether the restless feeling he sought to escape will ever truly leave him, or whether it's an inherent part of who he is. Reaching Patagonia, with its vast, wild landscapes and the iconic Torres del Paine, brings an overwhelming sense of accomplishment and finality. The end of the road is met with a blend of triumph and an unexpected feeling of loss. Jed reflects on the impermanence of experiences and the human tendency to immediately look to the next challenge. Jed's narrative is punctuated by astute observations and philosophical insights, woven together with humor and poetic prose. He offers up candid conversations about loneliness, ambition, doubt, joy, and the inexorable passage of time. Throughout the book, we see his worldview evolve as the simple act of moving forward on two wheels becomes a metaphor for life. To shake the sleeping self is ultimately a journey of personal transformation, as Jedediah Jenkins bicycles from a life that was prescribed to him by his upbringing and society into one that he is actively choosing and defining for himself. It's a tale of adventure that asks what it means to live a good life, one without regrets, 
and serves as a powerful reminder that sometimes, to find our way, we must first be willing to lose it. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.